Welcome to the most. Today's video is about the upcoming Navy vessels of Southeast Asian nations such as Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Timor-Leste, and Vietnam. Southeast Asian nations have been actively involved in naval modernization programs in recent years. This trend is driven by several factors, including geopolitical tensions, evolving maritime threats, and economic growth. However, challenges remain. Budgetary constraints and complex procurement processes can slow down progress. Royal Brunei Navy the Royal Brunei Navy established on June 14, 1965. It is a small but relatively well-equipped military force whose main responsibility is to conduct search and rescue missions and to deter and defend the Brunei waters against attack mounted by seaborne forces. Brunei, a small Southeast Asian sultanate bordered by Malaysia, is significantly raising its 2024 defense budget amid concerns over how to protect its territory. The government has allotted 796.3 million Brunei dollars, US 594 million dollars, for defense. This represents a 31.6% jump over last year's allocation of 605.2 million Brunei dollars. Abu Dhabi shipbuilding is said to be close to finalizing an agreement with Brunei to build and deliver offshore patrol vessels to the Royal Brunei Navy. The note provides a comprehensive overview of the following aspects, the type of OPV under discussion, the number of OPVs to be delivered, and potential fleet size. As of today the two RBN Acidic class vessels, RSS Brave Hull No. 95, decommissioned on August 27, 2019, and RSS Gallant Hull No. 97, decommissioned on December 11, 2020, were refurbished and given as a present to the Royal Brunei Navy in March 2023. They have a length of 55 meters, 180 feet, with a displacement of 500 tons, 551 short tons, 492 long tons. The Royal Cambodian Navy The Royal Cambodian Navy is established in March 1, 1954. The Naval Warfare Service branch of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces and one of the three uniformed services of the Kingdom of Cambodia. It has an estimated of 4,000 active personnel and operates 228 boats and ships in active service. Currently, the Cambodian government has demonstrated its commitment to modernize its military capability, particularly its naval assets. This can be seen via the continual increase of Cambodia's defense budget. The defense budget increased from 635 million US dollars in 2020 to 641 US dollars in 2021, reaching 770 million US dollars in 2022. Cambodia was in negotiations to buy two 140-meter warships armed with modern weapon systems from China. Though he did not specify which ships the Cambodian Navy had wanted, he did say that it was looking for 140-meter ships that could accommodate crews of 100 with sophisticated missile systems. China already has a strong defense relationship with Cambodia, one of Beijing's key partners in Southeast Asia. As I have noted before, China is Cambodia's largest military aid donor, and defense ties have been strengthening over the past few years. As of today, the Kosvay class patrol vessels is the latest warships of Royal Cambodian Navy donated by China last 2019, and four units are inoperated. Indonesian Navy The Indonesian Navy is the naval branch of the Indonesian National Armed Forces. It was founded on September 10, 1945 and has the role of patrolling Indonesia's lengthy coastline, enforcing and patrol the territorial waters and exclusive economic zone of Indonesia, protecting Indonesia's maritime strategic interests, protecting the islands surrounding Indonesia, and defending against seaborne threats. As of today the Indonesian Navy has 65,000 active personnel and has a total of approximately 131 warships in service, including frigates, corvettes, patrol boats, submarines, and support vessels. Italian shipbuilder Fincontieri announced March 28, 2024 it signed a contract to provide the Indonesian Navy with two 4,900-ton PPA ships, although the government has not yet funded the purchase. The contract, 
which is worth $1.3 billion, for two multipurpose offshore patrol vessels originally destined for the Italian Navy allocated to Indonesia instead. A Fincantieri News release stated the two 143-meter-long ships are currently under construction and fitting at the integrated shipyard. There will be indeed different configurations of combat system, starting from a soft version for the patrol task, integrated for self-defense ability, to a full one, equipped for a complete defense ability. 143 meters long overall, speed more than 32 knots according to vessel configuration and operational conditions. Crew of about 170 persons, equipped with a combined diesel, a gas turbine plant, and an electric propulsion system, and equipped with most sophisticated weapons and sensors. Lao People's Navy The Lao People's Navy is the Navy of Laos. In 1975, the Lao People's Navy was established with the remnants of the Royal Lao Navy. The Navy is significantly involved in border control work and had a personnel strength of around 500 and around 50 river patrol boats. From 2013 to 2017, the amount of Laotian gross domestic product spent on the military was only 0.2%, amounting to 18.5 million US dollars. However, Laos has not officially announced a defense budget since 2015. Laos relied heavily on Vietnamese and Soviet military aid and the loss of these funds by the early 1990s affected military capabilities. Thus, maintenance of the armed forces has become more difficult. The Lao People's Democratic Republic currently does not maintain a navy, but the Kingdom of Laos did maintain a navy for a brief period in the 1940s. The navy was used to patrol the river and protect the country from any foreign incursions. Royal Malaysian Navy The Royal Malaysian Navy, the naval arm of the Malaysian Armed Forces was founded on April 27, 1934, with a total of 16,000 active personnel. It is responsible for the country's maritime surveillance and defense operations, including its exclusive economic zones and vital shipping lanes like the Straits of Malacca and Singapore. The Royal Malaysian Navy's fleet consists of a variety of ships and aircraft, including littoral combat ships, corvettes, frigates, patrol vessels, helicopters, and fixed-wing maritime patrol aircraft. The force is actively undergoing modernization, with new acquisitions and upgrades to its existing fleet. Malaysia's Ministry of Defense received a significant increase in its 2024 budget compared to 2023. The total allocation is 4.2 billion US dollars. Today the upcoming vessels of Royal Malaysian Navy are being constructed, the KD Maharaja Lela class frigates, is a class of six stealth frigates being built for the Royal Malaysian Navy, where equipment installation and system integration are underway. In May 4, 2024, the Maharaja Lela, being launched and entering the water for the very first time, with a displacement of 3,100 tons full load, 111 m, 28 knots, 52 km per hour, and a range of 5,000 nautical miles, 9,300 km, at 15 knots. The ships are equipped with variety of state-of-the-art weapons and sensors that can be matched with most modern frigates today. The Maharaja Lela class littoral combat ship, one is expected to be handed over to the Royal Malaysian Navy in August 2026. Myanmar Navy The Myanmar Navy is the naval warfare branch of the armed forces of Myanmar established on December 24, 1947. With 16,000 personnel on duty, the Navy operates more than 227 vessels. The Myanmar Navy has undertaken a modernization program since the early 2000s. It has added larger and more advanced ships, mostly by constructing them locally with foreign supplied equipment, with a budget of 2.7 billion US dollars. The Myanmar Navy was reported to be constructing a new frigate in its naval shipyard at Thanlian. The new frigate, temporarily designated as the 135 meters, was designed and built indigenously with technical assistance from China and North Korea. The lead ship of the named Project FF-135 has a displacement is at least 4,500 tons. The ship will be equipped with VLS. The first satellite imagery of this ship was revealed by the newly released commercial satellite imagery dated at December 30, 2021. It will be the fourth indigenous frigate of the Myanmar Navy and is expected to be commissioned by 2026. Philippine Navy The Philippine Navy is the Naval Warfare Service branch of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, established on May 20, 1898. 
It has an estimated strength of 24,500 active service personnel, including the 10,300-strong Philippine Marine Corps. It operates 90 combat vessels, 16 auxiliary vessels, 25 manned aircraft, and 8 unmanned aerial vehicles. The Philippine Navy is bent on pursuing its modernization programs to better protect the country's vast maritime domains. The Philippines has already made some big purchases in recent years, including a $375 million deal for BrahMos cruise missiles from India. They have also signed several big contracts with South Korean shipbuilder Hyundai Heavy Industries, including for a pair of Jose Rizal-class frigates which are already in service, as well as six offshore patrol vessels and two missile corvettes which will be delivered over the next several years. The combined cost of the patrol boats and corvettes is around $1 billion, so the government would need to ramp up spending by a lot and quickly to meet its goal of spending $35 billion. On Tuesday, June 18, Hyundai Heavy Industries announced that it held the launching ceremony for the 3,200-ton Philippine Navy Corvette BRP Miguel Malvar at its shipyard in Ulsan, attended by high-ranking military officials from both the Philippines and the Republic of Korea. BRP Miguel Malvar is a state-of-the-art surface combatant measuring 118.4 meters in length and 14.9 meters in breadth, with a cruising speed of 15 knots, about 28 kilometers per hour, and a range of 4,500 nautical miles, 8,330 kilometers. It is equipped with advanced weapon systems such as anti-ship missiles, vertical launch systems, and 3D AESA radar. This is one of the six OPVs ordered by the Philippines and soon to be part of the Philippine Navy fleet. Republic of Singapore Navy the Republic of Singapore Navy was established on May 5, 1967, with 4,000 active personnel, 5,000 reserve personnel, and 38 ships. Responsible for defending the country against any seaborne threats, and as a guarantor of its sea lines of communications. In a significant development for Singapore's naval capabilities, ST Engineering has secured an estimated $1.2 billion deal to build multi-role combat vessels for the Singapore Navy. The new multi-role combat vessels are expected to replace the Republic of Singapore Navy's existing Victory Class Missile Corvettes MCVs, which have served since 1989. Singapore's future class of multi-role combat vessels took a significant step forward on March 8, 2024, when ST Engineering Marine cut steel on the first of six vessels. The MRCV design, resembling ST Engineering's own Vanguard 130 concept that is 130M long and displaces 5,000 tons, features an integrated mast, stern flight deck, helicopter hangar, and twin stern ramps for deploying small craft. A strong candidate for the integrated mast must be the Saab lightweight integrated mast since it is already employed on Singapore's eight independence class vessels. The combat vessels will be designed for quick configuration depending on the mission, including the capability to act as a force multiplier by serving as a mothership for unmanned air, surface, and underwater vehicles. Royal Thai Navy the Royal Thai Navy is the naval warfare force of Thailand with 84,000 active personnel, 241 ships, and 302 aircraft. Established in November 4, 1906, it was modernized by Admiral Prince of Hakura Kiartiwongs, 1880-1923, known as the father of the Royal Navy. It has a structure that includes the Naval Fleet, Royal Thai Marine Corps, and Air and Coastal Defense Command. The modernization of Royal Thai Navy is rapidly growth in the recent years, with allocated budget spending of $6 billion this year. As Thailand mulls the acquisition of up to four new frigates, a number of shipbuilders were actively courting the Royal Thai Navy at the Defense and Security 2023 exhibition in Bangkok. The Royal Thai Navy has requested 15 billion baht, about $457.9 million, over the next five years to fund its plan to acquire a new frigate. The frigate would be the second new frigate-sized vessel for the Navy. The first installment requested in the 2024 fiscal year is 1.7 billion baht, $51.9 million. It was also reported that the government wants the new frigate O be constructed locally in partnership with a foreign shipbuilder as one of the possible partners, according to a Bangkok Post report, citing a source in the Navy. Timor Less Defense Force The Timor Less Defense Force is the military of East Timor. The FFDTL was established in February 2001 and comprises two infantry battalions, small naval and air components, and several supporting units. 
The FFDTL's primary role is to protect East Timor from external threats. Timor-Leste maintains an active defense force of around 2,000 personnel. Timor-Leste is one of 13 countries to receive the patrol boats to be built at the Austal Yard in Western Australia. The program is part of a $300 million maritime security initiative to leverage soft power in the Asia-Pacific region. Timor-Leste prepared to receive two new Guardian-class patrol boats as part of Australia's regional maritime security program. The Guardian-class patrol boat, Austal Patrol 40 is based on Austal's proven patrol boat design platform, originally developed for the Australian Customs Service, and is 39.5 metres long with a beam of 8 metres and a loaded draft of 2.5 metres. It is capable of travelling at 20 knots, and at 12 knots, possesses a 3,000 nautical mile range. Each vessel can accommodate 23 people. Vietnam People's Navy the Vietnam People's Navy, also known as the Vietnamese People's Navy or simply Vietnam slash Vietnamese Navy, was established on May 7, 1955 with a total of 50,000 officers and sailors and 109 ships, including auxiliaries. Vietnam still has a lot of ground to cover to establish a revitalized and balanced navy. In an effort to modernize maritime capabilities, Vietnam has increased spending on maritime defense. Vietnamese Navy and Air Force have traditionally had very little capacity to protect Vietnam's maritime interests, but over the past decade, both services have undergone some modernization. Vietnam planned to allocate $6.65 billion for recurrent defense expenditure, which accounts for 12.3% of state expenditure estimates in 2023. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more military technology updates.